Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and my 2023 Valentine's Decorate With Me where I share simple decor and DIY ideas to inspire you when decorating your own homes. So let's get started. This is the stuff I pulled out of my Valentine's Day bin from previous years. I want to keep things very neutral and simple this year. I have some fun DIYs to share with you, um, but first I just wanted to pull out all of the stuff from previous years. I wanted to use these marshmallows are from last year and they held up pretty well. I saved them. We're obviously not going to eat them. And then I got these as well. I love to fill these up in my glass canisters in my kitchen. This wood bead heart is from Hobby Lobby and I think it's just really simple and beautiful. Same with this vine one. You can find these at the Dollar Tree. And this was from TJ Maxx several years ago and it's just the perfect neutral look. It's just this little wood heart. This was from Walmart several years ago, just super simple and cute. This is from Hobby Lobby. I love to throw in just some pink florals for Valentine's Day. And then if you watched my video last year, this was a DIY that I did. And I'm going to be reusing these hearts for another DIY that I'll be showing you in this video. And then I just picked up very few new things for this year. I loved this measuring cup and spoon set from the Target dollar spot. I love that they're all different colors, just super cute. Same with this cookie cutter set. And then I thought these would be adorable for a DIY. They're from Hobby Lobby, just different color felt envelopes. I love the little heart there. And then I have these white feathers for a DIY. I am so excited to share this with you. It's super unique and I think it'll just be really adorable. And then these wood hearts are actually stickers. They have little sticky things on the back and they are for another DIY. I have rose oil going in my diffuser today to set the mood while we're decorating and I'm starting out in this little corner of my kitchen. I wanted to use a lot of whites to mix in with all of the pink and reds that I'll be adding in throughout my kitchen. One of the easiest and I think cutest ways to add in color in your kitchen for Valentine's Day or really any holiday is by adding candy in a glass canister. This one is a set of three from Kirkland's and the heart marshmallows I actually found at Marshall's last year. They held up really well in storage, which is great because I love the soft shade of pink that they are. Okay, so DIY number one could not be any easier. I'm just taking the wooden heart stickers from Hobby Lobby and wooden coffee sticks and we're just attaching the heart to the top and placing them in a little white creamer. I love making DIYs. I think it adds a lot of character to your space and especially if it's something as simple as this, it's just so much fun to be creative and come up with new ways to decorate your space each year. So I think we're off to a great start with our Valentine's Day decorating. Now let's move to above my stove. I always have my copper pots hanging here, but I do leave a hook for seasonal decor. So I'm switching out my basket and adding in the grapevine heart. I love how it pops against the white backsplash while still blending in with the shade of the copper pots. 
And then I really wanted to balance out the pink and the red that we added to the other side of my stove. So I'm using the two other canisters in that set to add in some more heart marshmallows. I believe these were also from Marshalls last year, but I did see something similar at Target. And then I'm just starting at the bottom and just stacking them all the way up. Last year around this time, I put this new organization system in place with my measuring cups and spoons. It got them out of the drawer and up here, and I'm still loving this. Anything that can maximize space in my kitchen is always a win. If you want to see how I put that system together and other organizing systems in my kitchen, I will have that video linked below. So anyway, when I saw these at the Target dollar spot, I thought they would look so cute hanging here. I'm still loving the look of these flowers and vases on my island, so instead of swapping them out completely, I wanted to see if there was a way that I could incorporate some of my neutral decor in with them to match the Valentine's Day decor that I have going on in the rest of my kitchen. Both of these pink and white flowers are from Hobby Lobby, and I think they blended really nicely together. It still gives a neutral, earthy feel, but with just a little pop of Valentine's Day color. And then how perfectly does this little heart fit between the vases? And I think it just really completed the look. Ever since I took down my Christmas decor, I've been struggling with what I wanted to put up on this wall. I really wanted to find something new, so I borrowed this arch from my bedroom to see how it would look here, and I really like it. It's always the best when you can shop your own home and find a way to use an old piece of decor in a new way. Fresh flowers are another way to add in an easy pop of color. I'm using another one of my white pitchers. This one is one of my favorites and I will link it below. And then I'm just trimming down the ends of the roses and taking off the leaves just so they won't look overly crowded in the pitcher. So while I'm working on that, I have a quick little story life update for you. I know my uploading schedule has been a little MIA lately, and that's because my husband and I had an amazing opportunity to invest in a local restaurant. We do have partners who have been in the restaurant business for over 10 years. They're amazing. They are in the restaurant every day and they run it. We have just been totally rebranding this local gem and I'm making such a fun video of how I'm doing that, how we're decorating, and I'm just so proud of it, and I can't wait to share that video and that journey with you all very soon. Moving right along to DIY number two, I'm taking off these wooden hearts that I made last year so I can reuse them. They are long and pointy at the end, which is exactly what I needed for this DIY. I'm hot gluing the heart to a stick so that the point is at the bottom, just like an arrowhead. And if you haven't guessed it, we are making Cupid's arrows. I saw this idea on Pinterest and thought it was so unique and cool and wanted to give it a try. <music>
To attach the feathers, I used floral tape and then covered that with twine and just attached it with a little bead of hot glue. Here is how they turned out. I think they look so cool and I'll add them to the bar cart after DIY number three. This is another super simple one. I just measured my bar cart so I could make a little banner with the felt envelopes. I thought these were just so adorable with the little hearts and then I just hot glued each one onto my twine and there you have it. Here is how my Valentine's Day bar cart turned out. I added the Cupid's arrow in a glass jar next to the roses, and I think they are just so cute. And before my kids come home, I wanted to make a little Valentine's Day themed treat for them. These are going to be strawberry hand pies. I mixed diced strawberries in a bowl with a little sugar and cornstarch, so it's like the consistency of a pie filling. Then I'm using the heart cookie cutters from the Target dollar spot and cutting out a top and a bottom for each pie. I am making two pies, so I need to cut out four hearts. You want to make sure you add the strawberry right in the middle so you have plenty of room to pinch the edges together and also make sure the strawberries aren't piled too high or the edges of the hearts won't line up. Using a fork, I went all the way around the edge to close the seams. And then I'm just brushing it with an egg wash to get that nice golden color out of the oven. These will bake at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. I wish my sprinkles held a little bit better, but here they are. These were so delicious and my kids love them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for another video.